Hi, just a follow-up video to my box of multimeters uh, from the bunker. I've got this Fluke OneTouch 10-100 network uh, assistant thing. Apparently it was like a high-end uh, tester back in its day. It's got the Ethernets and it's got a uh, serial on there as well. Can do like just automatic network testing. Shame it doesn't do one gig bit, but uh, you know, so I'm not sure how relevant uh, it is. Well, it's still okay for, you know, I guess uh, checking like network connections and stuff like that. Um, if it doesn't test the speed, at least connects that all you checks all your connections and everything else are okay. Anyway, and check it out. It's got the evil center negative. Unbelievable fluke. What the hell are you doing? Center negative. Unbelievable. Um, anyway, so it's, yeah, there's the uh, recharge connector on there. Somebody set this into the mailbag like a long time ago. But anyway, I powered up the network tester and it seems to work just uh, fine. Or I didn't plug it into the network, but, you know, powers up. There's no issue with the screen. So, but the battery pack is dead. Um, I put uh, charge in here. Like, it won't accept charge or anything into here. So I'm not sure what the uh, deal is. But anyway, I thought that we can actually recharge this thing. It turns out you can just lift this off. Off. It wasn't even stuck that well, um, and it's look. There's your uh, six NiCad uh, batteries, Avada jobbies, and I don't know. Is this already an aftermarket pack, CargoBattery.com, or is that the original uh, manufacturer of this pack for Fluke? I don't know. Um, maybe. It's been repacked. Um, if anyone knows, please leave it in the uh, comments down below. Anyway, we've got three LEDs up there for the charge indicator, and we've got the three contacts. So we know um, that it is negative like that, positive, and someone's put nine volts-ish. That'll be like a battery, um, like a uh, temp sensor or something like that, perhaps. But I only needed uh, the power on there to actually uh, power the thing. So uh, no problem. So um, negative, positive. So let's actually, I thought, Maybe we can actually re... I don't want to dig out all of the hot snot yet. So I thought maybe we could actually try and recharge this pack. Because obviously it's dead flat. Let's have a quick measure there. And we're only talking 0.4 volts. So that's pretty dead ski. Um, and I assume that these contacts will be directly across the battery. So the charging circuitry is inside. But we can basically bypass the charging cir circuitry, I think. That's the plan anyway. So I'm going to use... Some contacts, because you can't really, you know, you don't want to solder onto there or anything like that. So, I'll get some contacts like this, and there you go. The weight of those, their little pogo pins, will hold those down. Put them in the side, wedge them in the side there a bit. Um, so, yeah, so I can now move those around and it won't fall out. So now I can uh, attach uh, some cables to those, hook it up to the power supply, see if I can just recharge that pack just to get it going. Because the dead pack may be why it's not like accepting any charge from outside. So if we can sort of like uh, give it a kick up the pants uh, by doing that, then uh, let's let's give it a go, shall we? So, all right, so I've got positive and negative hooked up there. We want to charge at, uh, well, you want a maximum uh, voltage. So we want maximum compliance voltage to be uh, 1.4 volts per cell. So let's go 8.4 volts and I'll go uh, half an amp here and well let's so uh, got it connected around the right way yeah well let's switch that on and uh see what we've got see what happens there you go it's charging at 240 milliamps so it's doing something okay so what i've done is i've lowered that down to 100 milliamps so we're in constant current charge mode instead of we were in constant voltage charge mode before so we're now in constant current and uh it's now you can see that uh, it's, uh, of course, our compliance, maximum compliance voltage is um, uh, still that 8.4 uh, volts, but it's the actual cell pack voltage is 4.27 uh, volts. So I'm going to, I think, I'll, and it's slowly, it's climbing up. So that's what you expect it to do. Hopefully, when it recovers, it should eventually um, eke its way up. So I'm going to leave it there. I won't brutalize it. I'll leave it there at the 100 milliamps. I'll be patient. Let's see if we can rejuvenate these cells. See if it, and we'll, we'll be able to do something with it, I think, because obviously it's accepting a charge, whether or not it holds it. I don't know. It's, you know, and all, all to do with the uh, chemistry in there, how, you know, how ruined those cells were, etc. But I'm, I'm going to leave that. So I'll get back to you. Well, it's only been like 10 minutes or something, and it's really uh, starting to ramp up now at 100 milliamps. It's really, the voltage is screaming there. So, yeah, um, I don't know whether or not it, it fully recovers, remains to be seen. But anyway, um, we want to do constant uh, current until 
uh, it reaches uh, the voltage. Of course, that's going to be non. That's going to be a non-linear uh, thing. But it's anyway. It's getting up there, so I'm pretty happy with that. Like I could disconnect it now and measure it. So it's still charging. 6.45 volts. Oh, there's a bit of drop on the uh, due to the pogo pins and stuff like that. So it's it's reading 6.7. Whoa, hang on, it's jumping all over the place. It just jumped up to seven volts now, up there. So oh, whoa. So yeah, those those contacts are a bit how you're doing. Anyway, 6.6. .6. I'll just temporarily turn that off, and we will. Measure to see. Uh, no, no, it's dropped down to 2.8. Uh, she's dropping. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> I don't like our chances, but it's worth a go. Okay, well, that didn't take long. It's hit 8.4 volts and uh, it's dropped down to 34 milliamps. So there is some loss in these leads and the contacts. And 8.1 ish. Now there's obviously no way that uh, we could have charged those batteries in that amount of time. <laughs> so I'm going to switch it off here. 8.4, sorry, oh, you can't see it, I'll oh, just, trust me, uh, 7.14. 7 7.12, It's so it's starting to drop. There you go, but it is retaining some voltage, but... That's not really that great, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, adjust the uh, power supply voltage until uh, I get actually 8.4 volts on here. Yeah, it's only 37 milliamps, so perhaps I can leave it there for a lot longer. Um, just like trickle charging, but I mean, we're not even at, you know, C on... 10 here, um, which is the charge, uh, you know, the uh, the capacity uh, rate. What are these? Uh, 1200. Um, so we're not even, you know, not even at like C on uh, C on um, 10, which is like a like a, tr a, a traditional trickle charging rate here. So yeah, I think these batteries are kaput. It'd be nice if I could actually get in there and measure individual voltages. I might have to uh, dig out the hot snot, I think. All right, there you go. I actually got it out, and you can see we've got a PTC in there. That was like up against one of the uh, contacts up there, so you got good uh, thermal contact, and then just had some uh, heat shrink here. This is uh, this one's come off, but they're all in uh, series, of course. Now, let's actually measure the individual cell voltages. I would not expect them to be balanced. I'd be very surprised if they're all balanced, and we won't care about polarity. 0.88 and 0.95. Oh, hello, 1.33. That one's uh, accepted some of the juice. Uh, 0.8. And are there any dead ones? 0 0.8? 0 0.84. Um, I am reasonably happy with that. There's one that is uh, imbalanced, but um, I'm going to keep charging that at the slow rate and uh, see what see what becomes of it. Okay, I'm down to 13 milliamps. Um, still not much uh, longer. Oh no, 8.5. There you go. Cell voltages again, 1.31, 1.42. Now this one was the high one. It's 1.42. So, are they all going to come up? 1.3, oh, 1.4 basically. And 1.42, 1.40. So they're, oh, 1.43. There you go. So they're starting to balance so that's good um i'm i'm just gonna leave it and then i might uh try my chance with the uh jack where is the jack on the front here with that uh, blasted center negative thing i might uh try and charge it uh, externally and see what happens wow regardless of what adapter i try here it's dodgy as i've got to like put pressure on it so i don't know what the heck's going on there but yeah it's dodgy as anyway, 12 volts, and I am getting about 73 milliamps. So it's doing something, but we're not getting any LEDs there. Hmm. Well, I just put it back, and unfortunately, it doesn't do anything. So clearly, and either the, those things aren't making contact in there, or uh, it's under load, it's just dying in the ass.
All right, let's hook it up to a load here and uh, see what's what. We're getting 7.6 volts out of that. Not bad. Um, so let's do constant current. Let's see if we can draw. I think this uh, thing in operation drew 200 milliamps. So let's just try and draw uh, 200 milliamps, shall we? So 0.2, enter. Okay, here we go. And wah, nah, see, completely dead. So yeah, there's your problem. Yeah, so there you have it. Uh, one or more of those cells is dead. Of course, it only takes like one <laughs> to be absolutely cactus uh, internally to, um, because they're all in series, to then uh, cause a dropout on the entire pack. So after that, I can actually, oh, I could actually, let's have a look. I could, sorry, I haven't got my lab lights on here. That's why it's kind of dark. Uh, 0.96, 1.2. One point three, one point one five, one point two, one point two. Okay, so you could say, you know, this one on the end is uh, worse than the others, but you know, you could try and replace one. But like, you wouldn't bother. This thing has been like stored for like ten years or something, completely flat. I don't know what the age of this thing is, but it's ancient. Um, I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. Is it worth uh, repacking this thing? I I don't know if I'll ever use it might come in handy. I don't think they're worth much on eBay. I don't know. Thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.